Hi, my name's Hannah Lewin. I'm a personal trainer and I'll be taking you through this 10 minute, no equipment required, core workout. All you need is a small space in your home. We're going to start off with a short warm up and then we're going to work 40 seconds off and then 20 seconds on. We're going to start off just with a little bit of warm up just to get you mobile and loose and ready for the work ahead. Taking the lunge, we're going to go forward on toward the mat and we're going to take our opposite hand to our opposite foot. Bring that right hand in to meet the inside of the foot. Take your gaze up towards your thumb and then just send it back into high plank for me. Do the same thing but on the other side. Good stuff. And then if you just bring your knees on towards the mat, we're going to come into one very short isometric hold, just sort of 10 seconds or so, just to really switch your core on. Tucking those toes underneath, make sure your wrist is right underneath your shoulder. Just lift your knees off the floor by about an inch or two. So just come into here. And we're going to hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, should be shaking, 4, 3, 2, and we knees to the floor. Lovely. Low bicycle crunches, so make sure that your shoulders are lifted off the floor. There's not a lot of neck strain, so I want to be sure that you're lifting from your shoulders and your upper back rather than just your neck. Opposite hand elbow to opposite leg, and we're going to take it out like this, turn, bring it back in, and then go to the other side. So bring your elbows up here, and we're going to go off we go. Brilliant, Sati. Well, the last 30 seconds here, so just really making it nice and impactful. Good stuff. Brilliant. Lovely. Just making sure, again, that we're feeling it nice and strong in your core. There's a bit of heat there now. Changing every side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your knees in. Take the neck towards the floor to see yourself a little spine massage here. To is plank with a twist. So we're going to come into our high plank position and we're going to just elevate up towards the ceiling. So we're going to go here, we're going to twist, bring it back here and then twisting up on the other side. So let's go. So into high plank and then twisting up. Off we go. So twist here. Good. So really opening up here, using your gaze every time just to look towards your thumb. Beautiful. Well done. Keep it coming. Keep that nice strong plank position. It's lovely to see the last few seconds here. We go four, three, two, and one. Good. Resting it there. All right. The next exercise we're going to come into is a boat pose, but we're going to make it a moving one. So two options here, really. For boat pose, if you want to come just to here hold it there for 40 seconds, be my guest. Or we can look to make this a little bit more dynamic and move it. So we're going to go here, bring our knees in and then open everything out. So we're going here and then opening. Bring it in and opening. Take a deep breath here. We're going to go in three, two and one. So you're going from here and opening just like this or if you want to we're just holding it here. If you're feeling holding there, don't let it go yet, just under 30 seconds. If you're feeling anything in your lower back, feel free to just hold it in boat pose. If that movement is too much for you right now, you'll get there. Last 20 seconds. Good stuff. Last 10 seconds. If you want to hold into boat pose, feel free. We're going to come here five, four, three, two, and one. Recovering that. Beautiful. Two options here. You can either take your legs off the floor and come into your twist, or your legs stay onto the ground, but your heels are lift, or your toes are lifted, and we're going here. Whichever version you choose, make sure that you come back to a place to feel your glute switching on, and then we're turning. So team, we're going to go 40 seconds, legs off the floor or on the floor, 
and we're going to start this final movement in three, two, and one. So we're here, we're going down towards the floor. So just taking it side to side, nice and in control. Again, any lower back pain, back pain, pain, bring it back towards the floor, feeling that place of engagement, and then going to the If that movement is too much, feel free to just hold on to it, and we'll do the last 10 seconds together. Good stuff, team. Five, four, three, two, and one. Brilliant. Recover. Bring it right back on to your back. A little massage of your spine here. A deep breath. Let that stomach go, that tension release. Take one leg down and then just bring that knee all the way towards the floor here. Nice big twist. Perfect. Then do the same thing on the other side. into a bit of a lower back stretch here. So put your hands onto the mat, look forward, and then just push up as much as you can. And then bring it back down all the way to the floor. One more time, we're gonna, from there, we're gonna send it into Down Dog. So we're going here, tuck your toes underneath, and then send it into Down the Dog, pushing your hands back towards your feet, bending your knees, chin is tucked in, into the floor fold and then just rolling up here. Well done guys, hope to see you again very soon.